Hi, and welcome to another video. One thing about bigger spaces is that you're always tempted to fill them up, even though you might not necessarily need uh, some of the things. That was how come we decided to stick to having this uh, minimal project. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the foundation process, what went into the foundation, the total number of materials, as well as what it did cost um, having the foundation done. So, but I'm not talking further, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, the total size of this building is 23 square feet, so 23 feet to each side. And um, we had to dig about two feet or a little bit over that down when the foundation process was um, being done. So you get to see some pictures when the foundation was being done. And we use a total of um, not more than 500 blocks. So we use about 470, 480 blocks for the foundation. The good thing is over this place, um, the land here, there's a bit of slope in that land. So if, um, I don't know if you might, I think, let me just turn this way. So from here, if you look all the way down there, you notice that there's a slope in the land. I was fortunate to have gotten the part which is on the high side. So we didn't have to do so much, you know, like um, blocks with the foundation. Now for the foundation, if you look closely, we have about three blocks which are out. So we have like two blocks that goes down from this particular point or this particular position. So that's like a total of about five blocks, which is not um, bad. And also, one thing we had to take into consideration when doing the foundation was, if you look closely, you notice that there are some spaces at some point. Now, this was done purposely for the filling part. So when you're done with the foundation, you have to fill it with gravels or laterite um, for it to be, you know, compressed or rammed to, you know, fit in before you go ahead to do the, um, the flow on top of it. Now, as part of that, sometimes, um, it rains to be able to soak the soil so that it sinks. Sometimes it doesn't rain, so you have to be able to um, pour water on top of it. Now, in the process of you pouring water on top of it, if you don't take care and you don't have these spaces that I just showed you, so the spaces between the blocks, it is going to make the, the, like, the wall crack or get crooked because the pressure of the water might probably be trying to find its way out of the foundation so that was why we had to do that at that point to uh, prevent such situation so with that two feet a little bit over two feet down um, use a total of no more than 500 blocks for the down part and then if you look closely also you notice that we had to use rubbers at some point so we used rubbers inside the the foundation itself and then that was when they they dug and then after that we poured the concrete on top of it and then after that the blocks were done up and then we had to put the rubber on top across the entire uh, foundation before the concrete was cast on top of it now we also had a total of about seven pillars so this is one pillar one goes all the way there there's one here one in front there and then there's three uh, i think two in the house itself and then there's one also on the other side so we decided to put these pillars at strategic points to hold the building firm so if you look so you notice there's one here there's one there on the other side and on the other side and then there's one there as well and then there's also one there so we use a total of um seven pillars um total of no more than 500 blocks pieces of blocks and then for the number of bags of cement i think i'll have to check that from here to be able to give you the accurate amount so let me just second so i just check that from here so for the foundation we use a total of 33 bags of cement for that we use um so one trip of 18 cubic stones so that is what you see here so if i turn over the camera you notice that we still have some stones left we still have some sand left so this is we use an 18 cubic of stones um, for and then i think the stones is one inch yeah the size of the stones uh, uh one inch yeah some might be small but when you go to the curry you request for the size you want some are i think uh, 0.5 some is some are one so yeah so this is one inch and then also we got sand also that's also 18 um cubic for yeah one trip of that and then also we use 
Um, so the iron rods that are in the pillars, we use 12 millimeters. Because this is not a story building, there's no need to use 16 millimeters. So we use 12 millimeters for that. And then after that, uh, I think we also had to get some wood to um, do the concrete. The good thing is because this building is being done, some of the wood that we bought were what we just used for um, this project. So we didn't have to buy any wood for that. And then also when they were doing the profiling, you know, the profiling is when you do the boards around the section where the foundation is going to be, and then they do the marking and the rest. Um, the artisans or the mason that I got, got was um, very skillful. So they decided to just use uh, the blocks, had some nails on it, and then they did the marking uh, with the aid of the, uh, I think, the square, yeah, to be able to get that done. So I didn't have to buy any blocks for that. So that was basically how the foundation went. We had a total of material cost was 5,649 cities and then labor was 1,800 dollars just for the foundation. Now the foundation took up about three days to dig. Yeah, I should think so, three days to dig. I must admit that during that period or that point, uh, the soil was very, very hard because it wasn't raining by then. Uh, so it took about three days. The sun is very scorchy, so I'm just uh, hiding over the shit over here. So we took about three days to do that. And then the concrete and then the block work took also like about less than a week to have that um, done. And then after that, yeah, they blocked up. And then we had to also buy one trip of um, single asin of um, the laterite or gravels to do the filling. We got some of the soil around, but it wasn't enough to complete everything. So we had to get that as well to be able to fill it entirely soak some water um for it to you know you know sink properly before we went ahead to do the cast the concrete on top of it so that whole process didn't take more than a week to finish um yeah so that was basically how the whole foundation has been now as part of the foundation you notice that the porch part goes a, a single step down as compared to the entire uh, building so it's not like on the same level the entire building is on the same level but that of the porch goes a little bit um, down so that is that is the entire process or that's how everything has been so far still on the foundation now the type of logs that we used is the sand type so um, there's an the option between the query dust and then the sand now the sand type is a little cheaper compared to that of the query dust um, as of when we were starting, this was about uh, two cities, 30 pesos or so, I think two cities or so, just around here. And the query dash was four cities, but it's jumped to four cities, 50 pesos, and this is now like two cities, 60 pesos. So yeah, that's that's what we use. And then we use five inches of blocks for both the foundation and the entire building because this, like I said earlier, this is not a story building. This is um, just a normal small size building. So you don't really need six inches um, for that so i think we've covered most part of the foundation process the next we'll talk about the blocking up from foundation and then we'll see what went into that as well so i don't want this video to be too lengthy so we'll discuss or we'll talk about that in a different video so thank you very much for watching in case you are new to this channel as usual kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one